Welcome. So we're going to do something a little different. I don't think I've ever done this before. We're going to do a PvP commentary. I'm just going to narrate one of my battlegrounds, um, talking about what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, um, and then point out things I did right and, and any mistakes I may have made along the way. So here we're in a deathmatch, just kind of waiting to get started. Uh, unfortunately, we look, uh, we're going to start off outnumbered. Um, but luckily for me, uh, Black Panther is my teammate, so we should do fine. Um, I think my character looks pretty cool, uh, but I have to say that this guy also looks quite good. I like the outfit he's chosen. I believe that's a costume, and I like the color scheme uh, that he's using as well. Uh, I guess I'm just reviewing my gear here. This is the, the same build I posted on the channel. Burning Spellweave, Olorime, Magma Incarnate, One Trainee, Mark and Ring of Majesty, Dual Wield Resto, nothing different. Uh, and then we're off here. So first thing I do, of course, buff up. Got Igneous Weapons, Volatile Armor, and Vigor. Turn them all on at the beginning. Just kind of uh, checking how outnumbered we really are. Um, so I walk into the center just to see what's up. I see a dude up there, decide, all right, let's go and see if I can run up there and kill him real quick. Buffing up again, you know, don't wanna let your buffs fall off. I'm throw down the cinder storm. My teammate's already in there, getting in, getting in his face a little bit. He's trying to run away. So I'm gonna go down and try to finish him off. Got everything, seething furies proc now, I think. Yep, stun him with the fossilize, get the heal going. That's blood craze, by the way. Finish him off with the Seething Fury. Ain't no thing but a chicken wing on a string. Here we go with the leap. Take out opponent number two. Um, my teammates over there. We got a third guy with us now, so the we're getting a little bit stronger. Teaming up on this guy. At this point, I'm starting to realize that my teammates are good, <laughs> so I'm gonna have an easier time of it than if they were not. Um, so the, at this, I'm gonna try to stick together as much as possible, but this guy just seems easy. Sorks for the most part. I think that's a sword. No, that's a dragon eye, my mistake. I saw the Atronach, thought it was a sork, but... I see the vampire, so they're weak to fire damage, so I'm gonna go down there and try to kill him. It's like a principal thing. Now, vampires are pretty tanky in that ultimate form, but... So it's gonna take a while to wear him down. And I'm not gonna succeed. <laughs> not sure what I did wrong there, really, but didn't get, didn't get it done. Buffing up again. The only thing about this build is it is kind of slow, so it's a little bit annoying trying to get back to the fight. It's tempting to just sprint there, but the problem is with that, you blow all your stamina. By the time you get to the fight, you have nothing left, so trying to not sprint the entire time, although it's a little bit frustrating. Buffing up with the Olorime. Trying to take on this guy with the Ice Staff, Shield, two on one. Finish him with the leap and the flame damage. Not not very hard on that one. Um, chasing this guy. He's running away because there's two of us. Got stuck on a three slash four on one there, so that's not going to go too well. Jesus Beam is very strong in this patch, so be careful. People will just, as you can see, that guy really didn't contribute to the fight except for just spamming Jesus Beam from far away. So that's going to happen. you got to be keep an eye out for that. People will spam it on you when you're at full health. Uh, if they do that, that kind of tells you they don't really know what they're doing, so try, go, go try and kill them first. But it is a very strong ability, and uh, they'll just wait for you to get low and hit you from far away while other people do all the dirty work for them. It's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Uh, over here, this is a mistake. I, I see this lone guy. I decide, let's go try to kill him by myself. But guess what? You know, I'm going to wind up isolated from my team. Now it's a two-on-one. Now I'm trying to just get back to my team. A third guy joins in. I'm realizing I got to get away, try to get back to my teammates. But it's kind of too late. I'm not going to be able to escape these three guys. I think it's four now. No, just three. Three or four. Yeah. So don't do that, you know. Don't get too thirsty and try to separate from your team and take a dude on one-on-one -on -one because next thing you know, you're fighting against four people. And this build is not the build to do that on. It's high damage, not the tankiest. Buffing up again right out the gate. We're looking around. More buffs. That's the Olorime proc, by the way, which gives you major courage for you and your team. It's one of the features of this build, which again is posted on the channel. So now I see... You know, we're all kind of over here. Let's get with my groove and get going. Um, 
Nothing fancy. You know, this guy's at low health. Finish him off. Burning, uh, putting golfing flames on everybody. Spam it. Get that seething fury ready to go. Trying to. Uh, here's my lack of speed is a little evident, but once my team stuns him for me, I can basically finish him off. At this point, again, you know, this is a good team. We, we're staying together. It seems like everyone knows how to play. Uh, that's not always going to be the case, but obviously it's, it's a big difference. When, when the four of us are together, we seem to be getting the job done quite easily. Taking that guy down real quick. Um, two of my dudes are over there fighting four guys, it looks like. So we're going to run over there trying to try and assist. Somebody on my team is healing everybody, so that's nice. Um, not sure which dude, but... This guy's taking a while to go down, but in the end, he goes down, and then I get hit by an assassin's will. That's another thing you gotta watch out for. 14,000 damage, damn. It's gonna be hard to survive that. Same deal, buffing up again right off the bat, running into the fight, trying to stick together. Finish off with a leap again. This guy just keeps cloaking and running away every time we turn our attention to him. So we'll just ignore him for now. Um, another Nightblade. A lot of Nightblades. Obviously, Nightblade is a good class right now. Pretty strong. So it's very popular. Most Nightblades, though. Here's that Vampire again. Uh, very tanky dude. Jesus, there's, I think I got Jesus Beam at full health right there. Uh, which is kind of stupid. Not going to get it done. Not, not a good idea. This guy's getting close to death. So we'll finish him, hopefully. My teammate is using the Jesus Beam, so that's nice. I don't know my teammates. I've seen jabbing your girl around before. He seems to be pretty good. The other three people, I'm not sure. I queued for a group and a solo, so I'm not sure if I'm in a... a you know, I, I don't think my teammates know each other, actually. So, we seem to be working together quite well, though. Power of the Light, I haven't seen that in a while. Templar, that's a rarely used skill, because I believe it got nerfed pretty heavily. Interesting. Um, fossilize. Blood Craze, Flame Dots, finish him with the whip. My teammate is healing me. I fell off by accident. Oh well. Here's another Nightblade. What I was going to say is Nightblades, there's a lot of Nightblades right now. It's a very popular class. Most of them are not that good. They, they, they pick the class because it's strong. But Nightblade, I think, is... Well, there you go, two on one. I got executed. Night, Nightblade is not, in my opinion, the easiest class to play. So if you're a good... If a Nightblade who is good and knows the class is going to be really strong, but a lot of people just pick up the Nightblade and when you fight them, they run away and they're only able to kill you if they're in stealth from far away and you're engaged in a combat with other people. So a, a lot of Nightblades are really not too much to worry about because once you turn your attention to them, they go down quickly or they run away. It can be frustrating though because they obviously can escape quite easily and annoy you, but they're not necessarily good if they're not uh, skilled at the class. Because as I say, I play Nightblade a lot, but I'm, I don't feel... I'm the best at it. It's not um, using things like Shadow Image. There's another Seething Fury kill. We're just wrecking people at this point. Um, <laughs> using things like um, Shadow Image and stuff does require a lot of skill, actually. And I, I'm not the best at it myself. So I respect the good Nightblade who knows how to use their class. Because it's a very strong class. And especially strong in someone who knows it well and can use those skills to the best of their ability. Lining up the Burst and the Merciless Resolve and using Shadow Image to me is not the easiest thing in the world. So, um, the good news is that it is hard to play so that a lot of Nightblades are just not that great. There's another Seething Fury kill. There's a Leap kill. Um, so this, that's how you're supposed to play Dragonite, basically. You know, you buff up, wear them down a little bit, finish them off with a Leap or a Whip. Um, what took me down there? That was a quick death all of a sudden. I'm not sure what happened, but... Damage in this meta is very high, um, as is tankiness, so... but And because I'm not very tanky, I will go down quickly on occasion if I'm not paying attention, or someone gets the drop on me. I, this time I did not go chase that dude by myself like I did last time, so it looks like I learned from my mistake before. Go with the group, stay in the healing that my teammate is providing. Um, and just when I'm standing in that nice blue heel, I can just go to, go to town with the damage, kill that guy, kill that guy, <laughs> you know, it's just... Having a good team is like, makes all the difference. 
Oh, I didn't get that kill. It was stolen from me, it said. Okay. Dragonite not having an execute can be annoying at times, but um, it's not too much of an issue. And that's it. Uh, we won. 15 and 6 with 12 assists. Uh, almost a million damage. As you can see, um, Dragonite is, is in a good spot. It's not the most powerful class in the world, I wouldn't say, but it's pretty good. Hope you enjoyed the video. Peace.